Okay, this how-to video is going to show you um, a feature of the Allegro PCB Designer team design option. There's something called soft boundaries. So to be able to use this feature, I'd need at least um, an Allegro PCB Designer license um, with the team design option. So in some instances where the, the master designer may well have kind of set some constraints and, and, and set the boundary areas, and, and you might want to work outside that, um, but you need the master designer to give you that, that ability to do that. So in the master design, we go to place design partition and look at the workflow manager. I've got a couple of partitions here, two and three. Um, what I want to do is I want to be able to enable the soft boundary. Um, so I'm just going to say, let's go and export effectively those two partitions. Once that's done, I'll go and open one of the partitions. So we'll go and open partition two. So traditionally you'll see obviously from a, a working point of view, the stuff that I haven't got access to that's not in my partition is kind of a bit dimmer than the other one. And there's settings for that if you want to go and look at that. Um, this is the partition where I'm allowed to go and work. And in this scenario here, maybe what I want to do is um, I want to be able to move these kind of eight resistors to the outside. So let's just uh, enable a quick funk key first. And there are videos showing this kind of functionality, the ability to just design a shortcut key. Uh, and then we're going to the placement edit mode and let's just pick a resistor and we'll start to rotate and we'll just move these out very, very quickly. And all I'm doing is I'm actually moving these outside of the constraint region. There's the boundary area, not the constraint region, sorry, the boundary area. Um, we'll move them outside of the boundary area. I'm then also going to use one of the place replicate functions. Let's just align the components and we'll make it equal spacing of about 10 mils. Uh, let's go a bit smaller than that. Once that's done, I can then go into etch edit mode and you know, literally just go and root. And you can see I'm rooting outside of the boundary area. So I, I'm actually working outside of my allowed boundary area, but it's allowing me to kind of go in and with that, with that soft boundary option allows me to do that. Now, if we look at this scenario here, where I've kind of got a pin that I'm allowed to work on and a pin that I'm not allowed to work on, what I could do here and what the recommendation really is to kind of work it to a kind of point, leave the connection as it is. Um, so if then we then save this, we'll go back to our master design we'll look at the place design partition partition workflow manager we'll import partition 2 once that's done we'll zoom in you can see we've brought in all the changes that we've done and i've got the, the master designer would have a small connection to make 